Have you ever felt like your message is getting lost in translation? You want to make a difference and you reach out to participate, but in the end, your message isn't received. Take Marsha, for example. She's an incredible principal. She arrives early, stays late, and works on weekends because she believes that every child deserves to have someone help them reach their potential. But she can only balance so much on her own. In an attempt to get some much-needed support, she sends out a flyer to the local business community asking for donations. When Jeff, a local restaurant owner, sees the flyer, he donates meals for an upcoming meeting. Marsha is incredibly grateful, but doesn't realize she should follow up with Jeff later. When she hosts a luncheon a month later, she doesn't think to hire Jeff to cater the event. Jeff isn't sure how impactful his donation was since he never heard anything, so he never donates to the school again. Marcia started this process with a flyer asking for donations, but forgot to build relationships. By engaging people like Jeff and sharing her school's story, people can feel like they're part of the process, and they can find ways to make their expertise fit the school's goals. Let's turn the tables and look at Charles. He runs a nonprofit and has a real passion for addressing student success through a literacy program he has developed. When Charles reaches out to Marsha, he proudly shares about his program, but in his enthusiasm, Charles forgets to ask about the school's current literacy program or even about their main challenges and goals. After not getting much feedback from the school, Charles leaves discouraged that administration isn't more excited to receive his help. Meanwhile, Marsha leaves their meeting frustrated that Charles doesn't understand that the school needs to first address many major issues with things like safety and school culture before they can see real benefits from a new literacy program. Charles started this process by offering a solution before he knew the real problem. By sitting down with Marsha and understanding the obstacles the school faces, he can adapt his plan to bolster support in some areas so that it can increase the success of his program overall. Jeff, Charles, and Marsha all want the same thing, to empower the next generation of leaders. But even with the best intentions, things can get lost in translation. School Connect is here to help you join forces with your community and support local schools. With training seminars, engagement events, and a network of leaders, we help connect you with the right people and show you how to maximize your resources. And most importantly, we show you how to do it together as a community. Learn more at schoolconnectaz.org.